What is up, my gangsters? It's your boy, No Kanye West, back at it again with a story time type of video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, mainly because, you know, my life, it's, it's, it's not all that eventful. Anyways, right, so, this all starts at my high school. I play field hockey, and uh, <laughs> because I play field hockey, they make us go to gym at the school to work out and to do, like, uh, physical tests and all that, you know? And... I say gym, but it's genuinely just a shack that just so happens to have equipment in it. There's like chains hanging on the wall that you can stare at to like train your eyesight, I guess. Uh, there's one stick with milk cartons at either end for keeping the children in check. Uh, and, and maybe if you're lucky, you know, and the local crackheads haven't moved shit around, there'll be a few bricks laying around that you can uh, throw at each other for, um, you know, reflex training or something anyways right on the other hand the damn r rugby boys get a proper gym damn place got marble floors and shit they probably have a fucking piano player or something that plays music for them while they gossip about the the, the latest stock movements shit's wild okay they got they got a mirror so that they can watch themselves as they work out like why do you need that you don't need that luxury just pick up the damn waist and work out we don't even have a floor we do push-ups on a straight soil and these fucking guys have a whole less air conditioning unit that also is a like an air freshener and a speaker system it's just ridiculous why do you need that much power at most we have like a a tap outside that never works that's the amount of luxury that we're allowed, but oh no, John the fucking useless nonce who can't even lift himself off the ground gets all his facility where he does fuck all anyways, except probably sit on his ass and eat knickknacks or something. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, maybe we could get some money to have proper gym down at the- NO! All the money we have has been used on- <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so me and my team are down at, you know, the shack. And we're organized into sets of two people per uh, group or team, whatever you want to call it. This way, you know, you can help each other if you need to and uh, that sort of thing. So, me and my friend, we go to the, um, the fucking push-pull thing. The, I don't even know it, man. I can't remember what that was called, but I'm sure I have a nice visual to show you. Anyways, so, we both do a few sets of pushing and pulling and we slowly you know we slowly increase the weights and it's uh it's my partner's turn right and he's got around 60 to 70 kgs on this bar so he does his thing you know one two three four and on five he appears to be struggling just a little bit you know so me being the great partner that i am i decide to help him i grab the bar i begin to lift and all i hear from below me is whoa, 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 whoa. what are you doing i got it so now, you know, I feel like an asshole because I've ruined my partner's session. So, <laughs> I immediately let go of the bar to rectify my sins, right? Now, looking back, I assume that this guy probably relaxed a little bit because I was helping, you know. But um, at the time, I didn't realize that. I wasn't all that keen as a child. So I dropped the bar and genuinely just released about, like, I don't know, 70 kgs onto this poor guy who had to be my partner. He could have been with Zach, who probably never fucking dropped 70 kgs on his partner. But no, he stuck with me, the spaz of the group, apparently. And uh, at this point, you know, the situation has turned to utter chaos. People are screaming, children are crying. Fucking world is ending, okay, as I've nearly caused the death of my partner. And you know, <laughs> I don't want to be that guy who kills his partner. Because then, right, you're going to look like such a loser when you're at gym by yourself. Shit's embarrassing. People are going to laugh at you, and uh, I, was, I just wasn't having that, you know. So, while this guy's trying not to die, I firmly point my hands back onto the bar and grip that shit with all my might. You know, I pull as hard as I can. <laughs> but at this point, my guy is fucking given up. He's accepted his fate. He's done. He doesn't care anymore. You know, and I'm the only thing stopping him from being decapitated right now. <sighs> Anyways, somehow, in a grand feat of strength, I managed to get the shit off of him, and I put it on the damn stand thingy. And, uh, you know, you would think that after you save someone's life, they would, you know, be grateful. But no, he was, he was a little bit upset. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> I not only nearly killed my friend... 
Hello, bozo. But I also saved him, so I'm basically a hero. We haven't talked since. Don't forget guys to smash like, hit subscribe, and turn on that bell notification for more awesome epic videos. I hate that. I hate that type of intro. But um, please do it. I <laughs> I need this guys, please. <laughs> please guys. <laughs> please.